Hi everyone, welcome to today's virtual lunch and learn. Today we're talking about raptor food. So what I want you to do is everybody yell out what you think a bird of prey eats. Good. There was one of you that said fruits and you were wrong, but the rest of you that shouted out meat, you were totally correct. We mentioned in past videos that raptors are all carnivores. They are hunting other animals with their big sharp talons. Raptors and the food they eat have long fascinated people. Even John James Audubon. He was an artist and some of his original paintings showed raptors eating their food, like these peregrine falcons, which back then were called great footed hawks. Many of them do eat insects. And that includes small raptors as well as large raptors will also eat insects too if that's the only food they can find. We also have them eating amphibians and reptiles like these snakes and this gator. They also like to eat mammals like rodents, squirrels, rabbits. And we do have some specialized hunters. For example, the osprey eats pretty much only fish. They have specialized talons that are extra curved and sharp that make them perfect fish hunters. Then we have vultures that of course are eating carrion or things that are already dead like roadkill. But did you know vultures aren't the only ones that will eat carrion? Bald eagles also will. They are opportunistic eaters which means they will eat whatever they can find. Another specialized hunter is the snail kite. Like their name suggests, they do eat pretty much only snails. They have special hooked beak that allow them to eat and be able to pull the meat from out of the snails. Now the issue here is being a specialized hunter, their food source is declining, which means the birds themselves are also declining in populations because they can't find enough food to satisfy what they need. Another specialized hunter are falcons. They are avivores, which means they eat other birds. Now those are just raptors here in the US and some of the things they eat. Around the world there are some pretty cool raptors that eat other things. For example, some species eat monkeys and sloths. Some are bat eaters. And the Egyptian vulture specializes in eggs so much that they have figured out how to drop rocks onto the eggs to crack them open and get the meat that's inside. Now at our center, we do feed our raptors a combination of rodents, rats and mice, as well as chicken and fish and mealworms. This is a video of one of our resident raptors. This is Dancer. He is a Mississippi kite and Dancer loves mealworms. One of his favorite treats and food to eat are those mealworms, which are the larval form of a beetle. In this video, you'll see Haley, one of our resident bald eagles, and she's using her talons to hunt for fish in her pond. Now, out in the wild, a bald eagle would obviously fly and snatch fish out of the water with its talons, but because Haley's injury is to her wings and she cannot fly, she has figured out how to stand in her pool and still use her talons to catch their food. Using your talons is something that makes a raptor a raptor. There are other carnivorous birds in the world, like a pelican, for example, but they are using their beak to catch their food. Using your talons is something that makes a bird a bird of prey. This is my friend Sanford, the Eastern Screech Owl and Sanford is hungry. The problem is he doesn't speak English, so he can't tell us what he wants to eat. However, I figured out a way to know what he wants to eat when he's got a food craving. You guys are gonna help using this board. This works best on a large screen, like a computer or a television. So you'll start with your finger here on the star. Think of a number between five and 15, any number you choose. And when I say go, you're going to start with your finger on the star and count ahead your chosen number. Again, anywhere between the number 5 and 15. For example, if your chosen number was 9, you'd start here on the star and move ahead 9 spots counterclockwise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. You would end up on the bat and then leave your finger there. Now choose your chosen number anywhere between five and 15 and get ready to move your finger from the star that many places. We'll count together. One, two, three, four, five, and so on to your chosen number. Now, with your chosen number, go back clockwise direction, that same number. One, two, three, four, five, and so on to your chosen number. When your finger reaches your chosen number, don't forget to keep your finger there. Now Sanford knows he doesn't want a mouse, or a butterfly to eat. So we're gonna take those away. And we're pretty sure you're not on a beetle or a snake either. So let's take those away too. Now get ready to move again. You're going to move four times in either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. Four spots any way you choose. Go ahead and move your finger now. One, two, three, four. Keep your finger there. Now your finger isn't on a ladybug, a frog, or the mealworm, so I'm going to take those away as well. We've got it narrowed down enough that now we can know Sanford, for dinner, wants to eat the lizard. Very good! We figured it out together! Alright everyone, hopefully you learned something in today's Lunch and Learn about food. And the interesting thing about food is once it goes in, it also has to. Hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day. We will see you on Monday's Lunch and Learn.